We definitely are seeing some, some trends in the marketplace, and I think you can really view them through the lens of, of a few neighborhoods. And one of the ones that we wanted to talk about right off the bat is, is Humboldt Park. It's really interesting. We're, we're talking about slow price growth throughout the market, but in Humboldt Park, we're seeing 25% year-over-year average price increase, which is just unheard of. In the last three years in Humboldt Park, the average sales price has doubled. Inventory is, is uh, well, month supply of inventory is, is pretty low, 3.2 months. You, usually you'd see you know, five or six months would be a balanced market. And market time is, a, is also uh, coming down in, in Humboldt Park. So all these indicators point to the fact that it's just a really hot market. Kim, I'll start with you because you're in the city. What's going on in Humboldt Park? I think you've got movement from River North to Bucktown to Logan. Uh, you know, moving west to Humboldt. And I just think it's a matter of, you know, finding a good deal in a great location. As you guys were talking about before, transportation is key. Um, the school districts, uh, the improvement in school districts will follow that, that trend. But I really just do think it's a matter of people trying to find the best value that they can. And they just tend to move north and west in the city. Do you think that its growth is, what percentage of the growth do you think is allocated to the fact that they opened up the 606? I think it's huge because it basically, it literally is a runway that takes you to Humboldt. And then you obviously you've got the actual park, I mean Humboldt Park, and then you've got Garfield Park, and then you've got now the 606, which is, you know, the yellow brick road to a whole new neighborhood that I think a lot of people didn't even, weren't really aware of. And you yeah, see huge amounts of restaurants going in and bars and, uh, you know, the obviously it's gentrification. Um, but that is the development of the neighborhood. Yeah. It's interesting because the 606 could potentially connect all the way to Lincoln Park with the Lincoln Yards project. So you could have, yeah. you could have a, a, a linear park that goes from basically the Chicago River, Lincoln Park, all the way out to Humboldt. Yeah. Amazing. And actually, keep in mind, I mean, they were talking about the 606 trail 20 plus years ago. We just have literally been holding our breath for that. So the fact that it actually happened, I think it just really energized I mean, it energized the community, but it really energized those neighborhoods. Well, we remember back in the day, you know, Thad and I, when we started selling, we're, we sold in Bucktown Worker Park. That was our that was our first neighborhood. Um, and the 606 was a something that they talked about, but it never was getting, it never gained any traction. And we did developments right along that old train track. And there used to be a train that would go down there mm -hmm. um, and would run right by a big townhome development that we sold years ago. So it's, it's really exciting to see Humboldt Park kind of come into its own because it was always sort of in the shadow and it was always the area that wasn't quite there when uh, when we saw a lot of the gentrification even west of western after kind of Bucktown and Wicker Park uh, filled in so it's uh, really exciting for that neighborhood but I agree it's definitely one of the hottest neighborhoods um, in the Chicago land area inside the city or outside. Kim do you think it's it's it too late for buyers to get a good deal in Humboldt Park? No I don't think so at all I think there's still great opportunities I was just talking to an agent uh, just this week about sort of there's a little pocket just west of Humboldt's you know, where you can get really good, decent single family homes in the, you know, 400,000 range. And that seems pretty affordable for the city of Chicago. Yeah, for sure. So there's definitely still opportunity out there. So Humboldt Park is definitely a neighborhood to keep our eyes on in 2019.